kind of, it's getting pretty late. I wonder if this is the latest video I've ever published. It's not that late, it's just usually when it gets to be too late that goes along with my, I'm not, um, everyone else is asleep, but they're a heavy sleeper. My dad's a heavy sleeper, even though I'm here, he's a heavy sleeper, everyone else is out. I don't know why I had to over explain that. But anyways, it feels like we were doing a video such a late, such late at, such late at night? I don't know, such late, yeah, such late at night now. So late at night. Anyways, uh, I wanted to clarify something for those of to, all, all zero of you that were confused. I'm not gonna scream. I, I'm glad I didn't upload that. That would have been bad. Like I screamed at those guys. I got mad because I, I don't know if it's YouTube, but like my videos aren't getting views, and they are. And I think it's, I, I really think it's just me checking to see if I got any comments. So if any, you, you guys got a comment basically if you, if you watch my videos. Comment something, what you want to see, you know, if you like the video, just do whatever. Alright, anyways, so, this, the companion, I don't think I explained exactly what, it, what that means, companion, because this is not Marvel's, and it, this is a companion, and the companion is to this book, which I highly recommend. I, I'm actually reading this the second time. But this is Kurt Busiek at his best. I don't really like his Avengers run. I, I read the first issue. I think an issue after it was in that new. It was that it was in that I am a I am an Avenger book, not New Avengers. I didn't like his new. I didn't think of no. He kept saying New Avengers. Um, I didn't like his Avengers issue one. I'm not gonna say running. It's only like what one or two of them. I didn't like Astro City. I call it Ass City. It started out good, but then just got kind of blech. I didn't know, I didn't understand what the point of it was, really. I did, but I also didn't. Just bland and slow and just awful. Uh, but this is so damn good, and that's why I got the companion. And the companion, oh, and I want to clarify one more thing, too. And the companion has that ruins one. But this book, I had said, I don't know if I said I think or I know. Or I, did, and I, I know, I, I don't think I said, oh, I think this is the darkest universe, or I said, this is the darkest universe, this is. There was a book that, um, well, it's not the darkest universe, I think Ruins is, I don't know yet, I don't know, not yet. I don't know. Um, but this was the book I was thinking about. So, so it was Comic Pop, which I suggest you guys all watch. Um, if you like comic book content and comic book reviews, they don't, they don't do Simpsons comics. So, those of you hoping for more Simpsons comics, people, that's not one of them. Um, but they, but I recommend them because they are for beginners. They actually, it's funny because there's one guy, and he's I guess the leader of the group. Sometimes his wife, who I think is also like him, but they're both big comic readers. They read a bunch of comics. They've Growing up with comics, they read them when they were little kids. They've been reading them all their lives, basically. And they talk to these, they explain these comic book um, stories, or events, or um, story, yeah, stories, events. These comic books to, comic stories to um, graphic novels, whatever, to people who haven't read them, people who don't usually read comics, like, you know, The Ordinary Joe, which I'm sure is some of you. Um, and it, it's not just, it, they are, the videos are long, and I haven't really, I've I can only watched, like, a couple of them all the way through. I just don't like watching videos that are, like, an hour long, unless it's the only video I watch that day. I, I like to cut down, in fact, I was really angry, because two, two days this week, it was over six hours for me on YouTube. I, I don't like doing that. I like having it to three hours, because... Um, it, was, it was good today, actually, because what I did was I watched, like, one or two videos after every time I, I read a comic. I, what, I, what I do is I, I can't read what I do. I can't read, um, you guys can clock out now. I already explained what I don't, wanted to explain. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, talking commentary, I guess. Um, but what, like, what I like doing is I, I read, because I can't, um, I can't. If, if, I re if I binge read comics, I'll get super bored of them and not want to read them anymore or whatever. Not anymore, but you get the idea. Um, so I take a break after every comic I read. Sometimes it's every two, but usually every one I watch a few videos. And what I've been doing lately is just binging videos and not binging 
compensation with Genshin. But I got, I got, um, yeah. So yeah, I wanted to clarify and also make another video. So this, and I don't think this is required reading, but, I mean, why not get it? And yes, you cannot get this on the Kindle. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to say. You can't get this on the Kindle. I think I said it. I don't know. Because I did a bunch of cuts. But yeah, this book, surprisingly, is not on the Kindle. I don't know why. Every, every, everything else is... I think this is the only... <laughs> I think this is the only book that I have that isn't on the Kindle. I really think it is. There's that Marvel Comics Presents one. Technically, the omnibuses aren't. And you can get each individual issue, I, I presume. I found most of them. The ones I wanted to search for. The ones I wanted to search for. The ones I searched for, I found at the, um... On the app itself. But you just can't get the collection they're in. I mean, not that you want to. It'd be, it'd be at least $19.99. There's a book on the Kindle. On the Kindle, on the Marvel's app. For 30 bucks, and I'll show you which one it is. This is why I like the uh, intro library a lot. I'm making this video way much longer than it needs to be. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, maybe both books. This book is 30 bucks on the Kindle. But I got it for free at my library. They also have an Avengers one I want that's uh, the. Um. The big threat, the empty threat, <laughs> the empty threat. Uh, it got a four point one on Goodreads, and usually the good, usually um, the epic collections for Avengers don't get that high of a review. Um, there was the captain when I, I'm pretty sure like, and it, it doesn't make sense because, again, like like I said in my digital video, my uh, physical versus digital video, so uh, way back when. Let's turn that way back when. Um, there's no reason for comics to be that expensive on the Kindle. They should be... For the Epic, they fine. Make it make it 20 bucks. So not fine. Actually, be, it should be 15 bucks. It really should be. There's no reason to make those that much money. That much money. And that's, stu and that's stupid. The Venom book I got should be 10 bucks. And then... Yep, final threat. And then, um, yeah, it's still $19.99. But you can't get it on paperback, so I'll just talk, and you don't want to spend too much on it. And that was my, my, my mini rant. And, it, and there's a, actually one a DC Comics for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. DC, they're just like, they think they can just do that, and everyone will buy it. That's why I hate buying digital. Well, that's not the only reason why. There's many other reasons why. It's, it makes no sense. Why would you do that? 50 bucks for a digital book. That, I hate to say it, but they could technically take away. I don't think they can. I, I think it's, it'd be... First of all, everyone would be on their asses. They'd probably go out of business. It'd, it'd be this huge-ass controversy. People would lose their jobs. I'm really thirsty right now. Um, it, it'd just be, like, an awful thing, and, like, there'd be chaos, but they could do, I, I think they could. I'm the only, only one that has to do that. I'm gonna drink soda. It's carbonated. I remember when I was, like, three years old, I tasted it, I hated it, and I was... I, I'm, a, I'm a picky eater. I'm apparently a picky drinker, too. <laughs> picky drinker. <laughs> Get it? Because beer? <laughs> well, that's the thumbnail. Let's give it the thumbnail now. YouTube likes getting the, getting the dumbest faces for my thumbnails. And there was another, another thing I noticed. Oh, and this is uh, New Flowers. That's where I got it from, or something Flowers. Funny. It's like the Newberry Comics thing. They had their own little uh, barcode thingy. Yeah, <laughs> Newberry Comics. I still have not gotten that. Fuck, I still have gotten that. I still haven't gotten that fucking card. I have no idea what the fuck happened to it. 
I, I know what the hell happened to it. I lost it. But what I mean is that they said they nailed it. They, they had to have. Here's my theory. Is, um, the one that's not plausible is that they never mailed it. Or maybe they, maybe they forgot. That's more plausible. Um, I wish I wanted to guess for too long. I don't want to. I want to have enough time to read my book. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say? It's pretty thick too. It's actually in much better than better, in much. It's it's in much better shape than I remember it being. I know that sounds stupid, but. Yeah, I'm not that picky about it, but that that Earth's X one. That first one was in bad condition. And it's like when you pay over twenty bucks or something in new condition, you expect it to come in new condition. Now, if I spent there was actually a, an omnibus, it's a Fantastic Four omnibus. I kind of sh I really feel like I should have gone. This this is really good so far. The more, most recent issue was super good. Um, it's not technical reading recommendation. I'm making this like much more than it needs to be. I don't know, it's like prattling on. But yeah, there's that was in my main rant. I think I'm done. I hope there's nothing I was saying before, but I got sidetracked. The only thing I hated about that Under, Sie Under Siege book was that there were some Secret Wars books, like tie ins, and there was like, I think three issues were tie ins. One was a prelude, so it's technically. I'd say the first four issues, or a hundred pages. How many issues was it? Let's see. Do, 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 do. I know I, I know this is weird, but I don't like seeing the words on the next page. I'm weird like that. 268 was the one I'm on, so 267. 264 to 267. The only thing um, I, I would say is that, that shouldn't be your first Avengers book because there's a lot of stuff in that that it's 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 the sixteenth volume number one. But it's not in any chronological order, because this is the Epic Collections line. Um and they don't go in chronological order. It's more collecting from what I from what I think, it's kind of like for collectors, um, for people that like they want under siege, they don't want to go in order. Or they want, they always do the, I, I think at least, they always do, except for Punisher, they always do volume one first and foremost. For the majority of them, they, they, do, that, they, do, they, they do that first and foremost, which is a good idea. At least give them the first few issues, or first few, um, first few issues of a um, character. Alright, I'm going to try and get this to not be 20 minutes long. Alright, so, to recap, you don't need both this and this, but I recommend you get them both, or I recommend you get this, and yeah, I haven't read that, so I can't technically recommend it, um, but this has the ruins, it, the ruins storyline, um, and I, maybe I should have just gotten that, but I, f I feel like I need to get this. This is not on the Kindle, I don't know why, and if it was, it'd be nineteen ninety nine or more expensive. Because it's Marvel. Oh, and that Venom book that I got for 15 bucks is twenty four ninety nine on the Marvel app. What are you guys doing? It's not even that big. I don't think it's much bigger than that Venom book. Oh, I'm going to have to get it out to show you guys. And then the Earth's X is indeed the darkest Marvel storyline book. Indeed. Like I, it's like I thought it was. Um, but yeah, like, and Marvel and DC overpriced their books on their websites. Eh. And the worst thing is, is that Venom book is out of print along with this one. So this is how thick this one is. And it's thirty four ninety nine list price. You're saying this is twenty four ninety nine? I wish I could look up the price of this one. But I can't because I have to go to on 